Hey fellers, it's Mad Mike here at Lillooet in British Columbia, CAR3 in the P-51, Wings of Power. And we'll turn on the uh, fuel, uh, flip on the mags, mixture, and find us a battery switch. And from there we'll see if we can't find a fuel pump. Looks like we're getting some fuel pressure. We'll prime it. Make sure the parking brake's set. Hit the start. Ooh, listen to that. Isn't that a nice sound package? Ooh, that's a good sound, isn't it? That's one thing I really like about this airplane. <clears throat> Great sound package. A lot of fun to fly. And let's see what we got. I'm going to drop the flaps right now uh, just to make sure they're working. Got some uh, flight controls. That looks good. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, start taxiing. I'll raise the flaps while we head on out and play with this thing. It's a great plane to fly. It's a lot of fun. Although it can get you. Uh, rudder trim, right rudder. Uh, about four to five degrees. Otherwise, you'll go right off to the left hand side of the runway and there's your trim two and three degrees and uh, where's our runway there it is I'm sitting in the sod right now I decided to get off the runway now I'm gonna close the canopy I don't know if you should leave it open or close anyway I close it park and break off advance the throttle a little bit and kick up a little bit of dust and get ourselves lined up on uh, looks like runway 32 I got the winds calm right now and carefully hop on the old runway get aligned with it advance the throttle here we go I'm gonna actually bring it up to the max about 67 inches try to keep this thing on the runway that's one of the biggest challenges I'm going to ease the tail up a little bit, about 120, just come back slightly and let it come off, bring the gear up, and continue on our little merry way, I throttle back to about 55 inches, and I'm going to bring the prop control back to about 2700, and enjoy the ride, enjoy the countryside. Now, um, we got to get rid of the trim, that right rudder trim. Uh, the way I do it is I trim the nose up so if we're in a climb, then I dip my head down and crank it back and hope we don't run into a mountain. Ah, uh, that worked. <laughs> okay, I'm going to throttle back to about 40 inches. I'm going to ease the prop back to about 2400 RPM. And continue flying. And look what we got. Let's go over and check out that mountaintop. Boy, I tell you what, this sure is a nice airplane to fly. It's uh, hard not to get goofy with things like this. There we go. Now, let's don't go straight and level. Planes like this just aren't designed for that. Let's go upside down. One of the things you learn about when you're flying upside down is you want to bank in the opposite direction you want to go. That takes some getting used to, but things are kind of backwards. Uh, in any event, you kind of get used to it after a while, looking at the world upside down. It's kind of fun. Now while we're here, let's just do a part of an outside loop. Got plenty of airspeed, plenty of power, no problem there. And uh, I'm going to throttle back. At this point, <clears throat> I'm going to head back to the airport. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to throttle this back to about 20 inches. Uh, manifold pressure. Drop the nose. Let the airspeed build. And uh, I'm going to add a little power. I'm going to come up to about... Mm, I think I'm about 35 inches. And run the airspeed into the caution area. 
Windsor Calm, of course, <clears throat> I doubt if this is any way you'd normally make an approach to the airport, but we're, we're going to call this Mad Mike's uh, reasonably insane, totally illegal uh, approach. I suspect it's going to be rather difficult to uh, cut into a left downwind leg at 400 miles an hour, so I guess we're not going to do that. I think what we're going to need to do is <clears throat> modify that approach a little bit, and this is how we're going to do it as we do a little flyby over the airport. Look at that! Yippee! Oh, what fun, huh? Head toward the mountain. I'm going to climb, obviously. When I'm up here, I'm going to I'm going to uh, come back on the power right away and let this thing slow. I'm really slow now, about 130 miles an hour. And we're gonna... where's the airport? There it is, down there. Okay. Let's uh, turn on the carb heat. And... probably drop a gear. There it goes. I've got a lot of altitude to lose, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank in all the flaps. All of them. Now one of the surprises I found out about this plane is it's an incredibly decent glider. By that I mean the approach uh, is amazingly flat. It, it just doesn't drop out of the sky like I thought it would. Um, you're going to see that during our approach. You really got to kind of horseback the uh, trim on it. Otherwise this airplane, even when it's dirty, at least in the model, will, will pick up airspeed very, very easily. You'll find yourself overshooting uh, the runway without any effort at all. I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, canopy. I don't even know if that's legal to do that. I don't know. But we're going slow. About 120 right now. And as you can see, we're still high. But we're just kind of drifting along. I've got a little power in. Not much. About 15 inches. And um, that's another thing I found out about this plane. A little small throttle advancements create big changes in power. <clears throat> Something you got to watch. Anyway, it's a great airplane to fly. Once you finally understand how, how nice and flat the approach can be. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I found that you, you really, if you're too high, <clears throat> I found slipping to be pretty ineffective. I'll end up having to fly it off. <clears throat> or I suppose you could dip the wing vertically and let it drop. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not going to need to do that now. I'm holding my airspeed, just about 120. And about 15 inches. Look at this thing. This thing is uh, amazing. Here we come. I got 20 inches. I've added a little bit of power to it. Now, personally, I come in, <clears throat> usually on the runway, coming in just a little bit to the left, only because it's easier to see over the nose. It works for me. I don't know if it would work for you, any of you other folks, but I find it works. We're coming fine. We're managing the airspeed. The rate of descent looks decent. I think we're probably going to make it all right. Uh-huh. I'm uh, down to about 110. Don't worry. That's enough. We're about 10,000 pounds, by the way. And uh, I'm just going to start easing it back a little bit now. Try to stay over the runway. That can be a challenge sometimes. Uh, actually, I'm drifting left a little bit right now. you got to get right on it and bring it back. And bring the flaps up. And that's my take on the P-51 Wings of Power. A lot of fun. See you, Ray. See you later.